creating video games. That's the dream of a large amount of people worldwide. And if you are a fan of video games, then all it takes is a single look at companies like Bethesda, Riot, CD Projekt Red, Rockstar Games and others to understand why people would want to work there. Of course, becoming a game developer is no easy task. You have to set your mind to it and focus on learning how to code and how to use the game engine, but you already know that. In this video, we are not going to focus on that aspect of game development, instead we are going to talk money, specifically the different roles you can have as a game developer and how much can you expect to earn from those roles. If you were to google game developer salaries, you will find a variety of average salaries lists that range from $40,000 all the way to $150,000 per year. But I want to dive a little deeper than that and talk about the responsibilities a game developer has and how that affects the salary he is paid. The first thing that we need to understand is what is the role of a game developer. This of course depends on a few factors, but the main one is the company where the game developer works. Because in some companies, a game developer's job is to program a certain part of a game and that is that. But in other companies, game developers are often asked to help out with the concept creation and even creative writing. So, type of responsibilities that you as a game developer will have depends on the company you work for and what you accepted as your obligations when you started working. And while some people might think, why should a game developer help with concept creation and creative writing? Well, the answer is simple. A game developer will be responsible for implementing some or all of those features in a game and if he participates directly in the creation of the game's features, it will be easier for him to put that into code later on. And not to mention that the more things a game developer is involved in, the higher his salary will be. Another thing that is important to understand is that there are different types of game developers. With this I mean the skill level that the game developer possesses. Because every job has different levels and the work done on every level is not the same. Of course, this includes the salary as well, terms and conditions. Let's take a closer look at the three main levels that a game developer can possess. First, we have the entry level game developer. Entry level is also a beginner level and beginner game developers are usually either high school or university students that have just recently gotten into game development and want to try their luck with this specialty. This is the first level or step that every game developer needs to go through when they are starting their game development career. And as you can assume, entry level developers have the lowest game programmer salary out of the three groups, but they also have the least amount of work to worry about. The only thing that should concern these people is to constantly keep on learning and employers know that. This is why they give beginner employees introductory tasks that would not overwhelm them, but also would be a great learning experience at the same time. Next, we have junior game developers. The junior level is the next step from the entry level. When you learn everything there is to learn in the entry level and you feel comfortable implementing that in your work, then naturally you move up the ladder. And the next step on the ladder is, well, junior level. Now, don't get carried away because junior game developers still have a lot to learn, but they can find their way around the code and they can even help out other secondary tasks that come up. And finally, we have the senior game developer level, the final boss of the game development. Senior developers are the people who possess the biggest amount of experience in the field of game development. These veterans have been through thick and thin, have been both on cold and hot, and they are universally prepared for any situation or problem that might arise in the area of their expertise. Therefore, they deserve the biggest game developer salary. Level-wise, 
Senior developers are most often tasked with some of the toughest and most complicated assignments. More often than not, these developers are the only ones capable of handling such tasks. In addition to that, a senior programmer may also be asked to teach industry and company newcomers all of the tropes that come with this job. Now that we've covered both game developers' job description and the different types of this profession that there are, we can finally transition and start talking numbers. We'll start by talking about the entry-level wage and then make our way from there. The average salary for entry-level game developer is $60,000 in the United States and around 30,000 euros in Europe. Given the fact that this is the average salary for entry-level game developer who is still learning game development, you can see that game development is very lucrative career choice. As soon as you move on to the junior level, your salary also moves up. And it moves up by $26,000 on average because junior level game developers earn around $86,000 per year and in Europe that's around 50,000 euros. As you can see, the more you move up the ladder, the more lucrative game development career becomes. Which brings me to the last level which is senior game developer. Senior game developers earn on average $124,000 per year and in Europe that's around 90,000 euros. A huge jump from junior level, especially the entry level. It really pays off to practice and master your craft to get to the senior level. And it's not only because of the salary which is amazing, but also the opportunities that you will encounter and the projects that you will be able to work on. Creating games for a living is truly a dream come true for many people worldwide. And believe it or not, it's not that difficult to learn all the skills you need to become a game developer. You just need a little hard work and dedication. And not to mention that the game developer's salary is also a pretty good motivator. So if you are thinking or you've taken steps towards becoming a game developer, then I have a few links below this video that will help you, so make sure to check them out. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, comment and share the video so that others can see it. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.